Hey guys, we get some very exciting news. Elspeth is coming back sometime soon. She will be a black white planeswalker. These images came off a poster, but they are of artwork that has not been seen before. Therefore, they are probably future planeswalker cards. Now, Elspeth has taken off her mask. She did die, so she's in the Underrealm. So a black-white planeswalker in standard would be really fun that's not called Soren. Garuk is coming back. My goodness, it's been some time since we've seen him. I think the last thing I remember was Garuk was, he actually killed a random planeswalker that no one really cared about. It was some like Omi book, some book planeswalker that only existed in the book. And then he like forgot, like he just, boop, gone. And yeah, he's still after Liliana because he's still cursed. Nice to see him come back. It has been some time. And he is, he does add diversity, as interesting as that sounds, he does add diversity to the group of planeswalkers. I also like him as kind of the arc villain. When the Corsa hit, he had a giant Guru card and then you had to battle it. That was kind of fun. Maybe we'll have that back again. So we know Corset doesn't have any of these Planeswalkers. The next set is Ravnica based. Could we see Elspeth and Ravnica? Probably not. However, could the set after Ravnica be Pharos? Could we go back to the Greek mythology? Maybe. Returned. I mean, it seems like we returned to every plane after a few years. But yeah, it would be nice to see Garuk. I think his storyline was very interesting. Uh, Rao is it, so obviously he is probably in Ravnica. And he is the is it planeswalker, so it will be nice to see him sometime soon. I'm not positive that this is like the best way to spoil the planeswalkers, but they did it in a poster. And the poster had these like images of... And the images were never used before. And so it, you suspect that they're just commissioned artwork that will be relatively soon. When they commission Planeswalker artwork, it's so specific that these will eventually be cards. So Rao Zarek, I hope he gets a better version. He wasn't that great and he wasn't super great in Dragon Maze. Uh, very little was good in Dragon Maze. And... When you, when you have a token being like the third most expensive card in the set, you're kind of in trouble. Uh, Jace, I believe this is Jace in Ravnica, kind of the Mind Sculptor-esque. Will we see a more powerful Jace? The Jaces that we have seen so far have been kind of weakened. Uh, Jace is always kind of known as the best Planeswalker. So I'm hoping we get a stronger Jace, uh, a standard defining jace would be very good control decks are in and they would love to have a planeswalker that has the ability to stall draw some cards filter some cards oh jace just seems not that good recently like i don't remember the last jace of Inns prodigy that was a really good one so we will have of course the logo of magic the gathering he will be returning in ravnica i assume next we have another planeswalker to take a look at tamio so we get the return of tamio the last time we saw tamio she was in innistrad studying the moon but it seems like tamio is well was that correct was no actually there was another tamio tamio was went back to uh, innistrad or oh, shadows with jace I remember, and she was studying still the moon. And then the villain turned out to be Amico, which was a. It's what's interesting, right? But Tamio was coming back, so are we going back to Innistrad, or is Tamio going to study the Ravnica moons? Who really knows? Tamio is kind of a weird planeswalker. Uh, she did have, like, the reason I totally forgot we had a second Tamio was the original Tamio was really good. It wasn't too good, and it wasn't standard dominant, but it was really good in EDH. 
And then the other Tamiyo, I believe, are like free colors. Like it was a, it was a weird Tamiyo where it's just really difficult to play her. Uh, we will get another Khan, Scion of Urza, what is not the only one. We'll probably get him in Return to Return to Dominaria, maybe. I don't know. I, I look at the background. That kind of looks like a Greek background. So is Khan going to save Elspeth? We know Johnny eventually has to go back to that plane because he's unfinished business. But having another Khan in... Yeah, maybe the next set is Return to Pharaohs. Right? Like, it's looking that way. I look at the background, it seems like kind of like Greek structures. It wouldn't surprise me if they threw Khan into the set and said, oh, right, he's there to save Elspeth. We know Elspeth is specifically kind of trapped there. And interesting. This also kind of looks like it is Greek. Uh, this is Tefe. And it also looks like it's very... So maybe we have like the... Ravnica will be the O for the Gatewatch gang. Jace, Lily. Lily's coming back. There will be another Lily. Lily. And then we get to the Pharaoh's block. And we have Khan, Tefe. We got some Anjani and Elspeth. That would be pretty cool. I would be. I, I would enjoy that very much. And maybe even Tamiyo. Throwing a Tamiyo to study that moon. I don't know. It's interesting. You can. Uh, the artwork is telling me. At least I'm predicting a lot on this set. If we go back to an enchantment block. Well, first of all, we don't know if Pharaohs will be enchantment block. That was an epic fail in my opinion, because enchantments were not very good. Plus, they printed the like enchantment hoser. What was it? Back to nature or nature basics? If one in a green and like destroy all enchantments. Like, why would you have an enchantment block and just hose it like that? We, of course, also have a new Sahili Ra. Well, Sahili, Sahili is is it? So I think Raul is it is going to be in Ravnica. Will Sahili go to Greece? Maybe. And yeah, lots of really colorful planeswalkers. I, I when I'm looking at these planeswalkers, it's actually quite uh, interesting how diverse like all these planeswalkers are. Right, like you literally have. Pretty much everyone. Um, you add Garouk, you add Jace, Lily, um, Sahili Ra, uh, Tefe, Khan, which is like, he's either all colors or no colors. Well, let's call him all colors. And yeah, it's, it's definitely fascinating to look. Uh, Lily, Lily is walking on those steps. Uh, these are the same steps as Jace walks. So this is Ravnica. Uh, it is almost certain that she will be in Ravnica with uh, Jace and friends in the Oath of the Gatewatch. I'm kind of tired of Oath of the Gatewatch. I mean, it was a good concept, but they never really developed it. And to me personally, it was quite confusing as like, yeah, I, get, I guess that it's a bunch of planeswalkers, but they're really just fighting one dude. And... Maybe that one dude is going to come by, have a bunch of his planeswalkers and they'll fight. Because that would make more sense to me. Like, why does Nicol Bolas not have, like, he has Sarkon, right? Sarkon the Mad? Well, actually, Sarkon's not mad anymore, right? They fixed him. Huh. What, who's he got left? Tezzeret? My gosh, it's terrible. <laughs> Just one Tezzeret. And against everyone else. Uh, Ajani, this is definitely very Pharaoh's built. I mean, look at the architecture in the background. Ajani is going back to save Elspeth. Uh, we all know how that turned out. It turned out with her dying. And now we have to get her back because for lower purposes. So we, we'll grab a bunch of teams of the planeswalkers that are not really mentioned. That's actually probably what's going to happen. There will be two planeswalker teams. There will be the Oath of the Gatewatch team. Nissa, Chandra, Lily, Jace. So on, so on. And then there'll be the uh, Save Elspeth team of Khan, Tefe, uh, maybe Sahili Ra, Tamiyo. Would love to get a Tamiyo that would be playable because I do love Tamiyos. One of my fa favorite Planeswalkers. And even, you know, I forced certain cards into the deck, but like there was just too many colors. It's like, like how, how's anyone going to play this card? 
I'm almost certain the Tamiyo I'm thinking of has like so many colors and I really wanted to pay, play her. Field Researcher. Yeah, a bant. Green, white, and blue. Uh, it's just too much colors. And again, we're going to finish with Princess Elspeth. She looks pretty badass. It kind of looks Tomb Raider-esque. I might make another video. Like a anime music video. Now, I'm a big fan of Elspeth. Huge fan of Elspeth. Huge fan of Tamiyo. A big fan of Garou. Those would probably be my three favorite Planeswalkers. Mm, yes. My, yeah, that would probably be it. Anyway, let me know if you guys think I'm right. Uh, there's Is there anything that you can look at from the backgrounds? Of, these cards will be Planeswalkers. It's just a matter of time. So is there anything that you can figure out from the background? Anyway, bye guys.